Hey everyone, I hope you all are safe and doing good. So in this video, I am going to discuss with you one interview question, coding interview questions that generally being asked from freshers, even in those you know interview rounds of big tech companies, right? And this is very simple, but little bit confusing and tricky. So the question is this: It's uh, interview question of C programming language, right? You will be given three variables in A10, B20, and C30, and here within this again a block curly braces int c is equal to b minus a here we are printing c and again we are printing c so what would be the answer of this question first pause the video for some time and try this out rather than directly jumping to the solution so let's discuss the solution the answer would be if you run this the answer would be c now this question comes under the those uh, concept scope concept of the variable we know c this is within this curly bracket or within this curly bracket opening and closing curly bracket this is what a block within this block you define or you take any variable or any function the scope of that thing would be within this block only right so int main one block is this this and this so here we have a b c so the scope of this a b c is throughout this main right throughout this main till the end of this main but here we have one more scope opening and closing curly braces so here we are defining one more variable c it's not this variable another variable c and that is b minus a so b minus a means it will become 10 and here it will print 10 right but the scope of this c is finished once the control would be out from this curly bracket right so now this c is it will check out this for this variable within this block so do we have any c variable yes we have c 30 so it will not give any error it will print what first this printf would be executed c 10 then this printf would be executed c is equal to 20 so this basically comes under the scope concept right this is just to confuse you right and if you debug this step by step let me just show you if you debug this this is what our debugging if you start run and debug so obviously if to debug first we have to put some breakpoints so i'm putting the breakpoints at every line means if you put the breakpoints here then till before this line this would be executed and once first breakpoint it will see it will stop executing right and then step by step when you uh, click on that step over then it will start executing next till the next break break point right so now see if i run this if i run and debug out if i click on this then see here see variables local variables are a b c any random value garbage value we have because now control is here at this break point so at first a b c are having any garbage value right now see step over step over now see b has been updated so, sorry a has been updated a is 10 now control is here now after execute, execution of the second line b would be 20 so step over you see here the changes right now he, we have control is here so after executing this c now c was 30 but we are in this block and int c is equal to b minus a right so here i am having one more variable c having some garbage value so after executing this line it will perform b minus a and c becomes 10 you got it right now it will print first 10 and after that when when we have at this line at this line the c now c becomes 30 again right so just run this and that's it so it will print let's let's just stop this stop this debugging and let's run this and i'll show you what output you will get see 10 and 30 so it will print 10 and 30 i hope you got this and if you have any doubt you can just let me know in comment section and i just want to tell you one thing after uploading the video then for 15 to 20 minutes just after uploading the video i'll be most active on the youtube channel or if i upload on instagram then on instagram 
So if you have any doubt, try to ask within those 15 to 20 minutes, just after uploading the videos or any reel or shorts or anything on my channel. Right. For that, you have to subscribe and you just turn on all the notification bell icon and then as soon as I upload the video, you will be notified. And if you have any doubt, you can just ask me there, right? Whether in that Instagram messages or in the comment section of that video, right? Because after that, it's not possible for me to check out all the comments and reply, right? So if you want, you know, reply of your question, try to answer within those 15 to 20 minutes. Just start uploading any video, right? So now that's it for this video and I will see you in the next video till then bye bye. Take care.